Smartphone Public here, and today we'll be reviewing the LG G2. Design-wise, the LG G2 is a, re a revolutionary device because it takes the buttons away from the sides, bottom, and the top to give it all, to give it this bezel-less design and putting the volume up, volume down, and power button on the back. This is one of the most handsome devices from LG. With the aluminum band around the phone to give it that premium look and glossy plastic on the back with the 5.2 inch 1080p panel on the front. Spec-wise, this has a Snapdragon 800 processor, 2 gigabytes of RAM, a 13 megapixel optical image stabilized camera with Android 4.4.2 KitKat and the Adreno 330 GPU. Even though it's running Android 4.4.2 KitKat, the LG G2 is nowhere near stock Android, with LG's skin on top, giving everything cartoon look. However, they pack this thing with many features, giving it a customizable home screen, lock screen, and transitions, as well as the font, and many other th things that are customizable. LG's theme is one of the most customizable themes you can get on any phone today. The software is still smooth, no lag, especially with that Snapdragon 800, and um, some apps are really well optimized for this device, so if you're playing games or watching movies, it would be great, especially on the LG G2. The LG G2 speaker is on the bottom, however it's very loud and crisp, especially for a phone speaker. Having a bezel-less 5.2 inch display with a PPI of 420, this is a very, very, very nice display with rich colors, it's very bright, has great viewing angles, and the contrast levels are also really good, especially for an IPS panel. Even though the LG G2 is nearly a year old, it still performs great in benchmarks and still competes with the likes of the Galaxy S5, HTC One M8 and the Sony Xperia Z2. Onto the camera now and we have LG's theme obviously and it takes pretty good photos especially for an LG smartphone and LG have always struggled with their cameras however this is not the case of the G2. It takes really vivid photos with accurate colors and a great dynamic field. It also has a lot of modes and features that one could use to take the photos. A lot like the Galaxy S4 and S5. Video test. Battery life wise, this thing is packing a 3000 milliamp battery. Now, you expect that to last all day, right? Even the 3000 milliamp battery was not enough for this phone because with constant screen on time use, it did not last me the whole day. However, I'm a very heavy user. I think that's why, and considering I played games, watched a movie, and listened to a lot of music, it did pretty well compared to the other smartphones and I would classify this the best battery life on any smartphone to date. Being one year old that's um, an am that's an amazing accomplishment for a device like this. In summary I think the LG G2 is one of the best looking fastest phones on the market. Even though it's a year old it still does really well against its competitors like the Galaxy S4 and the HTC One. It has a great display 
really good battery life, loudspeaker, and a really, really nice design. LG definitely did well on this phone, and I definitely recommend it to anyone within a budget. This is Smartphone Republic. Thanks for watching my review of the LG G2.